Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Give God all the glory. My name is Anthony Daines, and welcome to the Five Minute Facebook Ministry. Today we're coming out of the book of Luke, the third chapter, and the 21st verse. That's Luke 3 and 21. And it reads, out of the King James Version, Now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized and praying the heaven was opened. Again, now when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized and praying the heaven was opened. Now this is a story of, uh, again, this is a continuation of stories about John the Baptist. And John is baptizing Jesus. And he's already says, now when all the people were baptized. So John has already baptized a whole lot of people. Says all the people. Uh, that may have been all the people for the day, all the people for that hour, I don't know. But he's, he's, he's baptized with people. And it says, and it came to pass that Jesus also being baptized. So what we understand is that Jesus, when, he, when Jesus is God in human form, and when he came to earth, he did all the things and experienced the things that we need to experience as children of God. Jesus was baptized. So we need to be baptized. And he came to John to be baptized. And John didn't, John, John didn't really want to baptize. He's like, you know, you should be baptized with me. And he's like, no, the, the prophecy needs to be fulfilled. I need to be baptized. And that's what we need to do to accept Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, to accept God as our Father. We need to be baptized in a water baptism just as Jesus was baptized. And there's also that, and praying. See, Jesus prayed. Jesus prayed. Jesus prayed to his Father. And, you know, we, we only have a few prayers in the Bible that, that, that we know exactly what Jesus was praying for. But we know that Jesus prayed a lot. He, always, he went to solitary places and he prayed. So Jesus was walking around with all his authority and all his power on earth. He's healing the sick. He's raising the dead. Uh, he's helping the blind to see, the deaf to hear. And he's praying. He's God and he's praying to his Father. So what does that say about us and, and, and praying? We should pray all the time. We should pray all the time. And as we read this, this scripture, it says, And praying, the heaven was opened. The heaven was opened. Jesus' prayer caused the heavens to open. Jesus' prayer caused the heaven to open. Now, will our prayer cause heaven to open? That is the question. If we pray sincerely to God, will the heavens open? I think they will. I'm pretty certain they will. That when you pray to your Father, that he will open the heavens and give you what you need. He will open the heavens and give you what you need. This, this was not just a one-time thing for Jesus. Okay? We may not receive the same things that Jesus will receive because God knew what Jesus was going to do. Jesus was going to do what God told him to do. See, God knows that we're not going to always do what he tells us to do. So we're not, he's not going to always answer our prayers because we, he knows that some of the things that we ask for, we're not going to use it in a proper fashion. We're not going to use it to glorify him. When we start praying for things that, is, that are within the will of God, our prayers will be answered. So if you're praying for something that's not within the will of God, that prayer may not be answered. And see, what happens with a lot of us is God isn't answering our prayers, but we're finding a way within the world to obtain things that we're praying for. And then we'll attribute that to God. But if you're praying for something that's not in God's will, why would he give that to you? Why would he give it to you? And everybody talks about, you know, the prosperity thing and God wants us all to be rich and all that. And they, you know, you got to go all the way back to Abraham because when you look at the New Testament, no, Jesus wasn't rich. None of the disciples were rich. They gave up everything for Jesus. But yet we're not willing to give up everything for Jesus. We're willing, to, we're willing to accept Jesus because we want more. And we believe that Jesus is going to give us more. But first, we have to be willing to give up everything for Jesus. And we do that by praying and trusting what God tells us to do. Because he will tell us to give up certain things. Jesus would always tell us to give up certain things. If you 
have become a Christian and you haven't given up anything from your former life, you may need to rethink how sincere your Christianity is because God wants change. God wants change. And when you change, he's going to open up the heavens and he's going to pour out those blessings on you. And you don't have to worry about trying to make things happen in this world of fashion the way everybody else does. The heavens will be open and your blessings will pour out on you. Hey, that's all the time that I have. Hey, God bless you. God love you. And I love you too. Have a great day.